May this time be the blessing for you. For the presence is with you. And if the presence is with you, it means it's calling for you. For there is no other reason for the presence to be with you except to call you. Why would we come to you unless we came to ask something of you? And of course, this is why we fear the presence, because we fear it will come to ask something of us. I pray that we will accept this and call for this. For heaven is waiting for us to call for this, not just as a passing wish, but as a vital necessity. I must know this. I must. I must. If you don't have this intention, heaven will not hear you because your voice is too weak. Your spirit is too weak. You're not serious. So heaven responds to those whose need is great and who make their request not only for beneficial outcomes or restitution, but to have the presence come upon them to show them the way out of the jungle of their past and their life. I pray that you will pray like this, like your whole life depended on it. I must know. That's a sign for heaven. We keep waiting for heaven to give us a sign and heaven is waiting for us to give it the sign that we are ready to continue forward. I pray for you because if you can do this, others' lives will be redeemed. Redemption requires that other lives be redeemed. Not just your spouse or your children or the people with whom you have a natural association and endearment, but even people who you don't know, who might find in your voice or act a sign that they need to call out. Sometimes heaven calls you even if you're not ready because you've hit the time when you must respond. But it's harder because if you can't, then you'll have a pain that nothing can resolve. So, how much better it is that we call out their own readiness. I pray for this because this is a sign to heaven. And what is readiness but that you are sick of sickness? And are willing to give up all its seeming benefits. Relationships that sickness has established, whatever they may be. 
I pray because I want you to be free. And freedom is not free. You have to earn it. You have to want it. You have to struggle with those forces in yourself and around you that impede you or will hold you back, <clears throat> will keep you down. But I want you to be free. Because if you're free, greater things can happen and the revelation will move through you. And I will be stronger and you will be stronger and everyone listening will be stronger and the people you are meant to find will have greater hope that you will find them. May this be so. Without this, life becomes tragic. If you have given promise to others by your demonstration and by your honest expression, that's what heaven's looking for. If arduous spiritual practice cannot do this, it's for naught. God knows the way to God. God knows how to purify and cleanse your life. Knowledge will take you out of the jungle by giving you that which you really need to do. Not clever, complex. Get out of the jungle because someone or something is leading us out of the jungle. This year is an important year. I pray for this year because I know the hazards. And I know what it takes to gain that greater freedom. And you have to gain that freedom to do what you came here to do or you will just do what you have always done. So the revelation has given us this great opportunity to serve the world, but it requires us to take these steps to become free and to come back into relationship with the presence and the power that sent us here. This is a gift for people of all faiths and for people who have no faith tradition, people of any nation or walk of life, the richest of the rich, the poorest of the poor, given to a whole world instead of just one region or one group, broadcast around the world as we're doing here to reach people who are amongst the first to respond. May the power and the presence be with you at this turning point. For me to pray for the world, I must pray for those who can respond to bring something greater into the world. Who can do that? No one knows how. So it must be shown the gift of heaven, you and others through you. When I'm gone, it'll just be you. And you won't be in the audience any longer just be you. And those who heard and responded and received took it into their heart 
They saw the great need inside. They knew they really needed this. I pray for them that they may respond and receive. May the gift of heaven be theirs. It brings hope into the world. And there is now hope in the world. God has spoken again in a way we've never heard. A time of the greatest importance. God can only speak to those who can hear, who can respond, and who have come to a point in their life when they know there's something greater that they must find. I pray they will find this. I pray you will find this. And I pray that the blessing will guide you and lead you through those dark moments where you think you're too afraid to go on. The presence of the teachers be with us. Asino Varikram.